Flaming hello everybody and welcome back to a new sketchbook session. Today I'm working in my new favorite tiny mixed media sketchbook. I completely fell in love with this format, cause finishing every spread in it doesn't take a lot of time. Recently I don't like to spend too much time working on one piece, probably because of being too impatient, I guess. And because of this reason, I've been looking at a huge canvas standing next to me, I don't know, for about maybe three weeks. <laughs> well, someday I will start a painting I have in mind um, on it. But not today, not today. Today we are going to draw some botanical sketches together. As you can see, I started with a red pencil sketch and for some reason, surprisingly for me, it turned into an essential part of my sketching process. I mean, leaving a thick sketch uh, drawn with a colored pencil. I'm going to overlay the sketch with markers further and I love so, so much the way the red pencil bleeds through colored layers. Sometimes after finishing a marker layer, I even add more uh, red pencil like over my finalized sketch and it brings some extra texture to the sketch and some extra red color. And this red color works pretty great with uh, so many other colors like blues, greens, pinks, etc. By the way, guys, I wanted to share with you some lovely news uh, for me in the first place. <laughs> My tiny channel got monetized recently, yay! It happened thanks to you in the first place. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my channel, for subscribing and for watching my videos, including this video. I appreciate it a lot. I hope so much in time YouTube uh, can become a source of a reliable income for me, because I like filming, I like drawing, sketching, etc. I like to experiment with different types of videos and now probably I have more motivation to do it. <laughs> all in all, it is a very pleasant milestone for me. So yeah, thank you so much one more time. Now let's get back to our sketching process. Today I work with Ahuhu markers. I love them a lot and probably you know this. If you'd like to know a bit more about these markers, you can check out my review I posted here on YouTube uh, relatively recently. I think that this review is slightly underestimated and uh, probably I know the reason. It is not a typical format for my channel, but all in all I think that it is a great review and if you want you can check it out. I believe markers is a great tool for quick and colorful sketches and I enjoy working with them a lot because it is a very predictable tool for me. I don't focus too much on precision and for sketching I prefer to choose limited color palettes, so it happens this way, I know approximately which colors I want to see in my sketch, I choose them and I use this limited set of markers for example. And it helps me to feel more relaxed during my sketching process, because all color decisions are mostly made already. <laughs> I've decided to add lines to some leaves with acrylic markers. I'm not super experienced in working with acrylic markers, uh, so at this point I'm just trying to make friends with them, I'm just trying to understand how to use them properly. <laughs> The one thing that I can say for sure that it works pretty well for adding details and it is very convenient to add details with these markers, but um, at this point I can't get how to use them in full scale, how to use them properly and to unleash their full potential. Just give me some time, I will figure it out. <laughs> Well, the next flower is on its way. Botanical motifs is something I can draw 
endlessly, I guess. And it is 100% comfortable area for me. I like to take some inspiration from random botanical references and turn them into my whimsical plants. sponsored by my Patreon. Here are some things you can find there. Color exploration posts for your inspiration, tutorials, my textured brush set for Procreate, long process videos, digital art prints, exclusive sketches and more. I would be happy to see in my tiny creative community. <laughs> There's no pressure, of course. Thank you so much for your attention and now let's get back to the video. to create an imaginative plant on the next spread. Instead of using red pencil, I decided to try blue one as an experiment and it was a successful experiment, by the way. <laughs> I didn't have any references in front of me, I just wanted to play around with different shapes in a more mindless way.
In this sketch I wanted to use various blues uh, with additional pinks and reds. Um, yeah, that is one of the color palettes that never, never lets me down. And blue pencil worked pretty well, especially in combination with this palette and especially with pink and red colors um, in areas where uh, I had lighter colors and when this blue pencil is more visible. what a sketch today please let me know which spread you liked more a natural one or whimsical uh, truth be told i can't say because i love them both thank you so much for watching this video don't forget about likes this is very important i hate i hate to ask you this but youtube seems to like your likes uh, so I just have to remind you. Traditionally, special thanks to my amazing patrons. I wanted to know that your support means a lot to me. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye!